Naramarang, good morning. Nyambri Nunawo Mayin Gayam Banyan Yinyo Gadara. Nyambri Nunawo people, welcome you to country. So I'm MC today, uh, and I'm aiming to not speak too much at all, but I do just want to begin by acknowledging that there are uh, amazing people in this room that have been on this journey for the last 20 years, the cooperative research centres leading to the Lowitcher Institute as it is today. And I'm delighted that uh, we're here today uh, for the launch of our new report, Changing the Narrative in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Health Research, and it, and it really is that. What is the heart of the story that sits between these covers? And I think it's this. For the past 20 years, the four cooperative research centres and the Lowerture Institute have demonstrated what can be achieved when Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cultures, knowledges, priorities and leadership are at the centre of the work to improve the health and well-being, our well-being of our First Peoples. Now, when I think about all of the people I've met over so many years, who have passed too early from preventable diseases for many, from chronic diseases which were treatable, it makes you understand the importance of Lowitcher and the work that Lowitcher does. And I want to acknowledge the Lowitcher Institute for its distinguished research contributions to Indigenous health but to broader issues. And in particular, of course, Dr. Lowager O'Donoghue, who is a venerable institution in herself. It is 20 years since Lowager became the chair of the Cooperative Research Centre for Aboriginal and Tropical Health when it opened in Darwin. It was special then because its core partners included two Aboriginal health services and because of the remarkable woman who led it. Lowitcher's leadership was and is crucial and remains so to this organisation and its very foundation, its ethics and its philosophy and its commitment and dedication and its robustness for doing the right thing and knowing what you were talking about. And it's through Lowitcher's leadership. She was our first chairperson and then we very nervously approached her at the time, I remember. We pushed Johnny Little. You know Lowitcher best at the time. You go and um, talk to her and we were able to get her to agree um, to be our patron, so. When I agreed in 2010 to have the Lowager Institute named after me, I entrusted in the Institute my spirit and energy, my values and priorities. I told them that I wanted them to be a courageous organisation, committed to social justice and equity for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. To match words to action, to achieve real and tangible outcomes. The great strength of the CRC approach was its focus on bringing together researchers and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community, developing research capacity, improving ethical guidelines, transferring research outputs and new methodologies that are now embodied in the key research principles of the Lowitcher Institute. This is a model which is greatly needed to help people like me to develop informed and effective policies for Indigenous health. We need sound evidence on which to base policies and I certainly look forward to the next chapter of this important story and it gives me an incredible privilege to acknowledge the Lower G Institute, to launch your report and to congratulate each and every one of you who've walked in the pathway of contributing to this institute for the powerful influence that you've had. Thank you very much. Looking at the work that it has done to date, I can say that I'm very proud of the organisation, its leaders, its researchers, partners and participants, members and supporters of our champions and friends. Thank you for all your hard work. Not that it is any reason for you to relax. The future is in your hands and there is still 
a big job to do.